My name is Margaret Carter. I've had Cavaliers for 35 years. We bought our first Cavalier for my daughter's eighth birthday present. Cavaliers are lovely companion dogs, wonderful with children, but they do now have a lot of health problems. So if you buy a Cavalier, you need to do some very careful homework and check your breeder very carefully. A responsible breeder for Cavaliers will test eyes, hearts and syringomyelia, which is a very painful neurological problem. Now, Cavaliers have had a heart problem, which is called mitral valve disease, for a very long time. Breeders are asked to not breed their dogs until they're two and a half, and they have been checked that they do not have a heart murmur. Unfortunately, a lot of breeders do not wait that long. So one of the things that anybody buying a puppy needs to look at is that the parents both have clear heart certificates after they're two and a half years old. Mitral valve disease, MVD, is a problem where the Cavalier's heart grows older quicker than most breeds. So at a fairly early age, the Cavalier can be coughing, can be fainting. Sometimes they can die very early. The other big problem at the moment in Cavaliers is syringomyelia which we will shorten to SM because it's such uh, a mouthful. And with SM, it is pockets of fluid in the spinal cord that are causing damage to nerves in various parts of the body. So the symptoms are very varied. You can have dogs limping on their front legs, on their back legs, yelping for no reason, um, yelping because they're touched, they scratch their ears, they scoot even though their anal glands are not full. So there's a lot of different symptoms. Um, they're all symptoms that dogs get naturally. But for Cavaliers, they begin to get them increasingly every day, and it is painful. It is a problem that is increasing. The latest study shows that 70% of Cavaliers will have SM by the time they're six. It's something that breeders should be taking into their breeding program. But unfortunately, again, it means that they should wait and have their dogs tested, MRI scanned, before they breed from them. And a lot of breeders do not want to do that. Cavaliers also have some inherited diseases that are unique to Cavaliers. One of them is episodic falling syndrome. And this is um, a condition where the dogs can be running, they suddenly go rigid and they fall over. And the other unique problem is dry eye curly coat. This is um, a condition where the cavalier is born with very, very sparse, coarse hair. And the minute that their eyes open as puppies, it becomes obvious that they have eye problems, they're not producing tears, they get ulcers, they get pussy eyes. It means a life of expensive eye drops, and even then, it will probably go blind. 
with the coat they end up with lesions on their skin, their nails drop out and bleed, their pads crack and bleed. It's a nasty condition. 30% of cavaliers actually carry the genes of episodic falling syndrome and or curly coat, dry eye. There is a simple DNA test that can be done now. It's a one-off test, so there shouldn't be any problem with affected dogs being born now if breeders do go and have the test. There are websites that give basic information, cavaliermatters.org. There is the Companion Cavalier Club website. For SM, there's Veterinary Neurologist website. There is plenty of help. All you have to do is ask. There are people to answer emails, phone calls. There are also chat forums and Facebook pages where you can talk to people that also have affected dogs. So you get support and advice. These are not conditions that can be cured. They can be managed, but they can't be cured. The only way to stop these problems getting worse is for the breeders to test and breed away from the problems. It is really important to do your homework to find out what the problems are in Cavaliers, look at the certificates, there are copies of certificates on some of the websites, know what the certificates look like and how to read them and only buy from a breeder that is happy and proud to show you the certificates. If they don't want to show you the certificates, if they say they're in the drawer somewhere in the kitchen, walk away. You need somebody who is happy to show you that they have health tested the parent dogs and done everything possible to produce healthier puppies. Cavaliers are the most wonderful family dogs. They are great companions. They are quite sporty. They're wonderful with children. They're the ultimate family dog. But if you buy a Cavalier, you could be buying problems. But it doesn't have to be that way. If breeders follow the health protocols, then things could change. These problems could be bred away from. And that's really what we're all hoping for that we will end up with a he with a healthier future for our cavaliers